So, the first question, write the letters. You are asked to write the letters because you always need to know, are they asking you for the letters only or the name or letter and name? So, in this particular question, they are asking us for letters of the parts that serve as endocrine glands only. We first need to understand what endocrine glands are. Now, let us remind ourselves, guys, that we have endocrine glands. We have endocrine glands and we have exocrine glands. Right? Um, I'm just going to break this down quickly before we answer our question. And another thing that we need to take note of is the marker location for this question. They've just asked us for letters. That means there is more than one letter. And judging by the marker location, it looks like we have two letters here. Right. When we talk about endocrine glands, we are talking about glands that release or secrete hormones. So these ones, they will secre secrete, sorry, hormones, that's an ES, secrete hormones directly into the blood, directly into the blood. Right, so whatever hormone that is secreted by whatever structure, it can be pituitary gland, adrenal gland, or whatever other gland, the hormone is secreted directly into the blood, then travels in the blood to the target organ. But when we talk about exocrine glands, these ones secrete substances. These are glands that will secrete substances that will secrete substances through ducts. So they have ducts. So whatever substance that is secreted, it will travel through a duct, through a pipe to whatever target organ or structure that it needs to go to. Remember guys, this is not our answer. I am just explaining. And the question is asking us for the parts that serve as endocrine glands only. Right. So the correct letters here will be A and F. A, there is A, that's the pituitary gland. We know that the pituitary gland secretes a number of hormones. That's the pituitary gland secretes a lot of hormones. FSH, LH, GH, um, ADH, prolactin, all secreted by the pituitary gland. Then F is our adrenal gland. F is our adrenal gland, which will secrete two hormones the adrenaline hormone and the aldosterone hormone. So those are the two hormones. Um, we're not going to choose letter E because letter E is a kidney and the kidney does not secrete any hormone. Um, the kidney is a target organ for a number of hormones, for example, ADH and aldosterone. We're not going to choose D because D is the pancreas. Okay, so E, let me write, E is the kidney. So D is the pancreas, and the pancreas serves as both endocrine and, and exocrine. And in our question, they said endocrine glands only. So we cannot choose the pancreas because it serves as an endocrine gland because it secretes hormones, two hormones, glucagon and insulin directly into the blood. It also acts as an exocrine gland because it secretes the pancreatic juice into the pancreatic duct. Right? So we can't choose the pancreas. Obviously, C, sorry, obviously, C um, will be incorrect because this is a sweat gland. And a sweat gland is going to secrete sweat through ducts onto the surface of the skin. So that's definitely not an endocrine gland. And B is a blood vessel, it's not a gland. Okay, 1.5.2 Give the letters and names of the parts responsible for the regulation of body temperature. From the diagram that you are given, please give the letters, I'm obviously thinking it's more than one, and the names, because of the S at the end, it's more than one name of the parts that are responsible for regulating body temperature. Let's check the marker location, guys, for. Marker location for, okay, so for the... Question above, I also need to indicate how it would be marked. It would be one mark for A and one mark for F. Okay, so the letters and names of the parts responsible, uh, it will be C and B. Definitely responsible for thermoregulation. And B, let's start with B. So you will say B. 
Then you tell us what B is, you give us the name. B is the blood vessel. And the next letter is C, and C is the sweat gland. So easy peasy guys for four marks. Let me show you how this will be marked. This letter will get a mark and the name, correct letter and correct name. Right, let's move to the next question, 1.5.3. 1 1.5.3, name the following with regard to the regulation of water content in the blood. Okay, let's name the hormone that is secreted by part A. In relation to water content in the blood, part A is the pituitary gland. So which hormone is secreted by the pituitary gland that regulates water in the blood, water content or water concentration in the blood? That's obviously hormone ADH, antidiuretic hormone. So if you write ADH, the abbreviation ADH in capital letters, you get a mark. Or if you want to write it in full, it's up to you. Antidiuretic hormone. That's also fine. So that's one mark. Then um, give us the target organ. So when ADH is secreted by the pituitary gland, it travels in the blood to basically go to the kidney. So the target organ E is the kidney. So it will obviously go into the kidney and basically regulate water content in the blood by either increasing or decreasing the permeability of the renal tubules, the distal convoluted tubule and the collecting duct. All right, so that's basically what happens. There's also homeostasis for that, for water content in the body. What needs to happen to bring the water levels back to normal if it happens that you have high levels of water in the blood or low levels of water in the blood. If you want me to record a video for that, please let me know. I'll be happy to record a video for that, then post it for you guys. Let's look at the next question.